When I go into the water, for me, it almost feels like a connection, almost a harmony. I can become at peace with myself and with the world. I feel at home. Within my army career, I was very fortunate to run a scuba school for the army. It's amazing that actually all astronauts are actually first and foremost divers. Water is the only medium on Earth that helps enable us to recreate a three-dimensional effect of space. And so I think at first when, when you say that you want to train astronauts, the, the first thing people don't think about is not a pool, but actually it's the most useful feature. Blue Abyss will be 50 metres long by 40 metres wide with a maximum depth of 50 metres. It's a little over 35,000 cubic metres and as such will be the largest pool of its kind by volume in the world. The benefit of having such a big facility is that we can do so many different things. Scuba diving, commercial diving, underwater robotics, human physiology in extreme environments and uh, the space training. So it's that wonderful combination of things where water is the key uh, medium that links them all together. When I met John, the project was fantastic. However, I identified that there were elements that were missing. As an advisor for Enterprise Europe Network, I have access to the largest database of business opportunities um, to help businesses across the east of England. Some of the solutions I managed to find were to um, ensure that John had protected his intellectual property. I was able to get an in-depth market report on the effect of space travel on the body from the Irish um, Space Agency. Thanks to our partner in Ireland, I was able to get a report on STEM science projects, again, which was another area that John needed some more in-depth information. And I pulled these together in a comprehensive market research report. Where we stand now is that the pool is actually going to be a reality and build will start in 2017 on the campus of the University of Essex in Colchester. Thanks to the Enterprise Europe Network, we now have a much more comprehensive and investment ready uh, proposition. We've been very fortunate in getting international support from the likes of ESA, the European Space Agency, and even NASA. Uh, and that has been a huge sort of, you know, a boost for us, that organisations like that are interested in what we're doing and supporting what we're doing. And it's given me a personal sense of achievement. But every day I wake up and I'm enthusiastic about working on this opportunity.